Hi folks, it's Ollie from Music Gear Direct in Nottingham. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Electrovoice Evolve 30M. The subwoofer of the Evolve 30 is a compact unit that houses a 10 inch driver. The enclosure is built out of 15mm wood, which in turn betters the internal acoustic performance. On the back of the subwoofer, we will find the onboard digital mixer, which is what the M stands for in Evolve 30M. So taking a closer look at the back of this onboard digital mixer, we will find these six combi jack inputs. These allow for either an XLR connection or a quarter inch jack connection. On the Evolve 30, input seven and eight is a dedicated stereo Bluetooth input. You can pair a Bluetooth compatible device to the Evolve 30 just by pressing and holding this soft key here. Something to note about these six inputs here is that the first four are your usual mono line slash mic inputs, while the last two are a stereo pair of line inputs, which can be denoted by the L and R here. We also have a high Z input. This is commonly used to connect something like guitars or bass guitars, something with passive pickups directly into the mixer. And we also have an RCA input and a 3.5 millimeter input, which is perfect for aux cables. In the output section, there's a mix out, which sums together the audio signals of input one through to input seven slash eight, and then sends that mix signal out to this output. You could use this output as a way to send your mix from the Evolve 30 to a separate loudspeaker. The AUX out can provide either a post fader audio mix of input one through to input seven and eight, or the main mix output signal. In the case of the main mix, the full mix including effects is provided, whereas the separate AUX mix comes without effects and is altered by the individual channel AUX levels, which are adjusted within the DSP. The AUX mix can also be changed to pre fader or post fader. Now we're going to move on to the DSP section of the mixer, which if you didn't know, stands for digital signal processor. This is the master volume knob which controls the overall volume level but it is also used to navigate through the menu and select the available choices within the DSP. Push the master volume knob to enter the DSP menu. These soft keys are simply used to select their corresponding channels within the DSP which will then allow you to alter that channel's individual settings. For example if I pressed input 3 I would have then selected input 3 within the DSP allowing me to then mix input three accordingly. Now what's a neat touch about this PA system is that there's no need for extra cables to connect the sub to the top speaker. And it's all thanks to this two piece symmetrical aluminium pole. This top speaker is not actually a single speaker. It is in fact, six 2.8 inch drivers that provide 120 degrees of coverage. The array unit has been designed with this angle that projects at a gentle slope to ensure coverage for both audience members that are sitting and standing. So when you first load the EV Quick Smart app, you'll see the select speaker screen. This is very simple. All you do is you wait for your speaker to appear on the screen, you click it and then you click apply and that's it, you're in. It's as simple as that. So when you do that, you come to this screen. You've got a volume, the sub level, which is a very handy feature because you can control the volume of the sub separate to the rest of the system. You have a three band EQ. These are all fixed frequency. Just boost by six dB, cut by 12 dB. And that's the same for the bass, mid and treble. Taking a look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see edit mixer, function and mode. And we're gonna first take a look at mode. So when you click this, you'll see a list pop up with different applications for the system. So you've got club, you've got live, you've got music, and you've got speech. All I advise you to do is open up the list and then select whichever preset best fits your use for the system. So for example, we're gonna select music and then just leave it at that. Now that we've done that, we're gonna dig a bit deeper into the digital mixer. And to do that, all we do is click the edit mixer button. And once you do that, you see this screen. If it looks a bit confusing at first, don't worry, I'm gonna break it all down for you. To start, we're gonna look at the numbers along the top of the screen. We've got one, two, three, four, five slash six, seven slash eight. 
These all correspond to the inputs on the back of the digital mixer located on the subwoofer. The red sliders represent your faders that you would see on a standard mixer. So these control the overall level of your inputs. And if we glance over to channel seven slash eight, this is the stereo Bluetooth channel, which can be denoted by the little Bluetooth symbol next to the numbers seven slash eight. So this red fader will control the level of your Bluetooth audio device. And at the end of the row is the main fader, sometimes commonly referred to as the master fader. This will control the overall output of the mixer. Every channel has a mute function which can be engaged by pressing the mute button found at the bottom of the channels. Moving on to the effects now, if you look down the right hand side you'll see main, effects 1, effects 2 and aux. Now you can click these to enter into their edit sections. Effects 1, it will say 01, echo plus reverb long, so that is the actual effect that's being used. And to add that effect to a channel, you just pick so let's say channel 1 which is a lead vocal for example pull that slider up and if there was a vocal happening now you'd be able to hear that effect being added so there's now minus 10 db of the echo plus reverb long on channel one so you can just add those in as so just like that and now if we went to effect two you see that it's the exact same screen but all that's changed is the actual effect you can now see it says 01 chorus slow so you can add that to channel one and if you went back to FX1, you'll see that you've now essentially layered effects on top of each other, which is very cool. It's making use of the dual effects processor within the Evolve 30. Of course, to change the effect, you can just tap these arrows like so. And if you go to zero, it's off. There's no effect being added. Let's put it on a reverb church, for example, and go to effect two. Maybe you don't want a chorus. So let's have, let's have a doubling effect like that and you'll be adding it in just like that. To edit the individual channels, all you have to do is select the number of the channel that you want to edit. So if you want to edit channel two, for example, just tap the number two at the top of the channel and it brings up your channel edit page. Each of these controls can be adjusted via this slider on the right hand side. On the channel edit page, you also have access to a range of presets. To access those presets, just press the preset button on the bottom right hand corner and then select the preset that fits best. Using the left and right arrows, you can navigate through your channels. When you land on the effects page, you can use the arrows at the bottom to scroll through your effects. If you go to the right again, you can go to the aux page where you can alter the level of your aux out. And to the right once more, you can go to the main out and alter the level there. And the last thing I'll show you is how to change the name of your channel. So when you're on a channel edit page, just tap the three buttons in the top right hand corner and then tap rename input and you can just type in whatever you want. So that is an overview of the ElectroVoice Evolve 30M Common PA speaker. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you do like this content, then please feel free to subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next one.